Hello, I'm Pastor Greg Holt, and welcome to the third edition of I'm All In Devotional Tips. Now, I know that you've been reading Revelation chapters 2 and 3, and today I want to share with you one simple thing that I do when I'm reading a passage of Scripture, and it helps me to understand the text even more. Now, when I'm reading a passage of Scripture, there may be a repeated word or phrase that just stands out to me. And that word or phrase just causes me to take pause and go back and just meditate on it or, or perhaps think about how it applies in my own life. Now, in the book of Revelation, one such word is the word blessed. Now, as you know, the word blessed is used both in the New Testament and the Old Testament. But today I want to focus on the New Testament because of the book of Revelation. So from the diagram that you see, there are seven different Greek words used in the New Testament for the word blessed. They are praise, generous gift, blessing, considered blessed, happy or fortunate. From the seven, the Greek word makarios is used in the book of Revelation, and it means happy. And it's used seven times in Revelation. And in essence, Jesus is telling us that we will find happiness in the book of Revelation. Now stop and think about that. In a book that many people avoid, Jesus is telling us that you're going to be blessed or find happiness in the book of Revelation. Now, there are seven significant blessing statements in Revelation. So let's take a look at those seven statements. The first blessing statement is found in Revelation 1.3. It says, Blessed is he who reads and those who hear the words of this prophecy and keep those words which are written in it for the time is near. So it's reminding us that we will be blessed and happy if we read it, hear it, and keep it. The second blessing statement is found in Revelation 14, 13, where it says, Blessed are those who are dead, who die in the Lord from now on. And he's saying, if you've accepted Jesus Christ and you die, you're going to be die in the Lord and you're going to be blessed. The third blessing statement is found in Revelation 16, 15. And it says, blessed is he who watches and keeps his garment. And the word watches gives a sense of being spiritually alert to what is being said and what's taking place. So you'll be happy, you'll be blessed if you stay spiritually alert. In Revelation 19, 9, it says, blessed are those who are called to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And all those who are called or given an invitation to the marriage supper of the Lamb are all those who've accepted Jesus Christ. The fifth blessing statement is found in Revelation chapter 20, verse 6, where it says, Blessed and holy is he who has part in the first resurrection. All those who've accepted Jesus Christ will take part in the first resurrection. The sixth blessing statement is found in Revelation chapter 22, verse 7, where it says, Blessed is he who keeps the words of the prophecy of this book. And it ties back to Revelation 1, 3. It talks about keeping or doing God's word. And the seventh blessing statement is found in Revelation 22, verse 14, that says, Blessed are those who do his commandments. Again, there's blessing in doing and obeying what's stated in the book of Revelation. So these are the seven blessing statements in Revelation. And it's clear that God wants us to experience blessing and happiness. But the question is this, do you want the blessing? Do you want happiness? Do you? If you answer yes, all you have to do are these three things. Number one, continue to read Revelation chapters two and three. Number two, continue to listen to the sermon and the Bible study each week. And number three, continue to participate in your small group as you live it out and you do life together. God bless you and see you next week. One more time.